Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video, doing CFS 6 month looking for today's third video. So as the name suggests on the team, we're going to go six months ahead with the long range CFS V2 model. And this is going to take us from uh, March of next month through to August, through to the end of summer 2019. Now obviously, it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing, so it's not to be taken seriously. Months 1 and 2, March and April, hopefully if the model is working as it should be, then we may be able to get some hints, anyway, for um, for April, March and April. But um, as we go further ahead, sort of three, four, five, six months away, just a snapshot of what model is showing, it could all look very, very different uh, next month. So a huge pinch of salt, huge health warning uh, with this, and it really is just for fun. And just have a bit of a laugh at. Just to say that today's uh, first two videos that we released earlier on, we of course, there was always on a Saturday, have weekend forecast. And then uh, after that, we have a week to 10 day video update, which is here on the home page. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll find it above the uh, snow desk. So we're going to start off with the 700 bit of our height anomaly, uh, anomaly charts from the CFS V2 for the next six months. And then we'll have a look at the corresponding temperature and precipitation anomalies that uh, go with those heights. So this is um, the 700 millibar height anomaly for March 2019, March 2019. And uh, it's just one month away, so hopefully this is the most reliable uh, part of this video. So for March, it looks like we've quite an unsettled month. We have below average heights sitting out to the west of the country and above average heights, albeit quite a weak area, over to our east. Also a uh, a weak area of above average heights displaced a little bit further south of the Azores. So um, it looks like bringing a westerly flow during March. Therefore, it looks like we've got quite an unsettled and changeable month being predicted here uh, for March by the CFS V2. This is how April is looking. So we still have quite a deep area of below average heights in the northern Atlantic in April. It's to the south of Greenland, close to um, Iceland. But we also have a large ridge extending in across many parts of Europe. So this would be uh, shifting the jet stream north. The jet stream would be going off up there somewhere. And uh, after that rather unsettled uh, March, it looks like April is a settling down month, particularly so for England and Wales, a close that ridge of high pressure. Could be really quite dry there, I would have thought. And pretty warm as well. We're on the warm side of the jet stream, the jet stream being shoved off up to um, the north. So an improving picture in April, increasingly dry and warm signals perhaps. Then we go through to May. This is month three, so it's a very, very long way out. But in May, we have this ridge of above average height centred, uh, kind of like to our north, below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic, and also some above average heights across southern parts of Europe. It's rather a complicated pe uh, picture, but I think we're probably bringing in a lot of the easterly winds during the course of May. May tends to favour easterly winds at the best of times, and I think that's pro possibly quite a settled, quite a warm uh, easterly type month being signalled there in May. Uh, month four, so we are around with just the fun now. June uh, looks like this above average height centred, albeit quite weakly, just to the south and southeast of the UK. Otherwise, there's not much uh, going on. You would have thought if that did come off, it would probably be bringing up quite warm air uh, from the south during June. July strengthens our anticyclonic signal, so we have a big area of above average heights then centred over and to the east of the country. That would be bringing very warm, if not potentially hot, uh, easterly winds, I would have thought, during July. And then uh, August looking pretty decent as well. So this is looking like a good summer being forecast by the CFS at the moment. But it's a really long way out. This is all in just the fun territory. Um, but for August, we almost have the above average height centred over top of the UK. A very dry, warm, potentially hot summer uh, there, I would have thought. The jet stream is going to be off up here. So the jet stream will be to our north. And uh, it just looks like a, a really um, a really dry and potentially hot summer being forecast by the CFS at the moment. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. So we're coming back to March. This is how March uh, 2019 temperature anomaly is looking. And it's warmer than average. Above average temperature anomaly is being forecast, not just for the UK, but for most of Europe uh, as well. Remember, in March, we got the area below average heights out to our west, low pressure is out to west and we're bringing in a west southwesterly flow so it probably will be will be quite mild 
if that came off, but also fairly unsettled. April looks like that, generally uh, above average temperatures through most parts of uh, uh, of Europe during the course of April. The jet stream being pushed off up there, of course, uh, during April as heights uh, rise to our south, so on the warm side of the jet stream. Actually, you would probably expect Scotland and Northern England to be a little bit warmer than that showing. So I think a pair of, a pair of um, relatively uh, mild, warmish months during March and April, based on the pattern. Now, May goes close to average, a little bit surprising, perhaps, uh, in May, but the temperature normally is lowering, albeit it is still slightly uh, on the mild and average side, particularly in Scandinavia and some western parts of the UK. But overall, uh, we do see a little bit of a cool down during the course of May. Uh, that's how June looks. So again, quite a warm, uh, quite a warm June being forecast here. Month four, so very unreliable, but uh, quite a warmish June being forecast there through um, many parts of Northern Europe. And then it gets hotter into July. So it is going for a genuinely hot month in July uh, at the moment. We've got high pressure centred over and to the east of the uh, country in July, which will be bringing up hot winds from a southeasterly or uh, possibly even easterly direction. So it's month five, it's just for fun, but a hot summer is being forecast, but a hot July anyway. And very warm conditions continue into August as well. Could we get a pair of hot summers, 2018 and uh, 2019? Well, that's what CFSV2 wants to uh, indicate tonight. But of course, very, very much in the unreliable and just for fun time frame. Overall, the next six months look really warm, though. You have to say there's no sign of anything cooler than average, uh, really, across any parts of Europe. And that's even true for the UK uh, as well from March uh, through to August. Again, coming back to March with precipitation anomalies. This is how things are looking. And uh, perhaps you would have expected it to be a little bit more unsettled, actually, during March. We do have that deep trough of below average heights out to our west. There is no particularly apparent area of above average heights close to us either. So you would have thought we're bringing in um, a westerly flow with the jet stream. But uh, overall, it doesn't look overly unsettled. I mean, it's a little bit wetter than average across parts of England, Wales and Ireland, but then it's a little bit drier than average up uh, towards Scotland. So it's not a big deviation anyway. But I think basically this CFS is indicating quite an unsettled, quite a changeable month. Uh, during the course of uh, March. That's April. So western, northwestern parts of the country looking rather more unsettled in April. Also parts of Scandinavia as well. As you can clearly see the jet stream is going off up there somewhere. Uh, southern Europe's turning drier. That's as heights are rising across southern parts uh, of uh, Europe. Again, possibly quite a changeable month for uh, the UK, particularly for northern and western parts of the UK. Uh, then we go through to May, and uh, May is looking a strange month. It's hard to pin May down, really. It is one of those months that does tend to be uh, quite hard to decipher from the longer range model output. September tends to be another one. May and September, they're the two trickiest months to forecast for in a lot of ways, because the signals always seem to be uh, relatively weak. Overall, it looks as though it's turning drier across northern parts of Europe. So I think we are prop up. Uh, probably building up some heights in the east and the northeast of Europe and maybe pulling in some pretty warm sort of easterly type winds as well. That's June, moving more towards the drier side of things during June. So we've got uh, high pressure building close to the UK and across central parts of Europe uh, as well. So turning drier as we get through uh, to June. And then July, look at that, very dry month for many central and northern parts of Europe. And the UK and Ireland is included in that. So we've got a large ridge that's dominating during the course of July into central and also into northern parts of Europe. Southern Europe looking quite unsettled, probably from thunderstorms and bringing up hot southerly to uh, southeasterly influences during July. And the dry spell continues into August as well. So dry and hot signals really um, for both July and for August with high pressure very much in the ascendancy in uh, both of those months. Again, you'll notice southern parts of Europe looking much more unsettled. So for the spring, it's a mixed bag. There's no sign of anything cold coming up 
in the next six months. But then, of course, this model does tend to get itself a bit stuck in a rut. So um, I wouldn't necessarily rule out the chance of some colder months. But there's no sign of it um, in the CFS six months okay, tonight. Uh, it looks as though um, the spring is a bit of a mixed bag, but relatively mild, a little bit changeable for northern and western parts of the country. But that said, a lot of dry weather and quite warm weather at times during the spring. And then potentially the signals are there for a hot summer. But of course, that is unreliable. It's months four, five and six. So <laughs> still a bit of eye candy, but I wouldn't necessarily take it all that seriously. Let's see. Uh, what CFSV2 is showing for the summer when we get through to April and particularly, of course, into May. Right, that's your CFS secret look ahead uh, for this month. We'll do it all over again in March. Tomorrow, we're going to have a gather with Sunny Roundup, of course, and we'll start off with some uh, analogues for you. Going to be looking at uh, more spring analogues. First view up tomorrow at Gauss Web. It's around 10 a.m. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.